Welcome to Not My Reality. I'm your host, Vince Radamus, and here we go again. Another case of you just can't make this shit up. Arby's. You remember Arby's, right? The restaurant chain? Well, they recently filed for bankruptcy, but they made headlines on Sunday by bizarrely changing its social media profile to pictures as to what some people described as an Illuminati post. Yeah, the Illuminati. And so it begs to ask, why did Arby's just go full New World Order on Twitter and change their profile picture to the all-seeing eye of Horace? Of all things, plus the pyramids, plus just about every other esoteric and evil symbol you could possibly think of. Why did Arby's do that? It's a parody. If you don't have a sense of humor, go f- Welcome. Is this my reality? Is this your reality? I know you're all saying, Vince Stradamus, what is this esoteric and evil symbology you speak of? Well, look at this thing scrolling on the screen. Take a look at it. Now, take a look at this. And this is really to say, this is satanic. Look at the similarities. You tell me. Well, that seems to have taken quite a bit of effort if you ask me. You know, it reminds me of the old school restaurants we used to go to when we were kids and it had the, uh, the wallpaper like that, except this one just happens to have real dark occult symbology. Yeah, why not? Not only was there the image makeover, based on the historical secret society but the eatery also posted a promotional video showcasing a quote a cult-like pyramidal structure with of course a friggin eye on top take a look at this all right we start out with the pyramid and of course the friggin eye uh, symbology much Well, the return is near. Very cryptic. And the music playing behind it is so ominous for some reason. And what's that? I know what it is. And when you find out, you're gonna be like, what the? F-? Uh, yeah, of course, nothing makes me crave a burger and fries more than some occultic imagery. Really? Who thought this was a good idea? Who's the head of branding at Arby's? Aleister Crowley? Duh. It's happening. That's what the restaurant wrote on X, formerly called Twitter. What's happening? You just can't put that out there and not expect some people to wonder, what are you talking about? What does that mean? Among the several reactions that spiraled on social media, one user wrote, Arby's makes an Illuminati post. There's another one, quote, Arby's fast food restaurant just changed their profile picture to the occult, all seeing eye pyramid without any official announcement on the change. One more user questioned, the return of who? I agree, the return of who, the return of what? Really? What's your point here? What, what are you getting at? This weird ass marketing campaign was, get this, intended to create a buzz about the impending return of the much beloved triangle potato cakes to their menu. Really? Like I said, you can't make this shit up. Hey, hey, how do we sell these triangle potatoes? Oh, I got it. Let's go all cultic. Nothing sells potatoes better than the Illuminati. Are you serious with this? All right. Oh, the company, the company also tweeted out a series of cryptic ads. I get a beef and cheddar. And for you to bring back the potato cakes, please. Please. I really need them. Sir, I really need please, them. I keep telling you, they're not coming back. Here's one. 
is one of these ads. This one features actor Kyle MacLachlan. Remember this guy from the cult classics like Blue Velvet, Twin Peaks, Dune? Here he is, and he's begging for the return of these potato cakes in an Arby's drive-thru. Before, get this, he runs into the nearby woods and he receives a vision of their return. For the love of God, this is ridiculous. Is, is this really the way you sell potatoes? What's next? What's next, Arby's? Baphomet burgers? Fallen angel fries? The devil's drumsticks? I might be on something there, to be honest. Well, I'm going to cross Arby's off my list, too. Just another company being weird, being run by a bunch of weirdos. I don't know. Explain this to me. Let's get the fuck out of here. Y'all want to go to uh, Chick-fil-A? I don't think they're doing anything satanic this week. Hopefully. <laughs>